Welcome to Holy Cross Scottish Episcopal Church, Davidson's Mains, Edinburgh, for this celebration of the Eucharist in Latin for the Feast of Charles, King and Martyr. Our last Latin Eucharist was celebrated last year for the Feast of St. Columba. And then I noted that in worshipping in this ancient language of Western Christianity, we were actually closer to Celtic worship or Celtic liturgy than any of the modern confected Celtic liturgies in English. Today we celebrate King Charles I, Charles King and Martyr. But first of all a word on the liturgy that we'll be using. It is an authorised liturgy of the Scottish Episcopal Church, the 1970 Scottish Liturgy, which is a version of various Scottish liturgies going back to 1764 and then beyond that to the 1637 prayer book which was issued by King Charles the Martyr and was rather sadly um, rejected by a minority of Scots who made quite a stir about it throwing stools around. It's an authorised liturgy of the Scottish Church. Um, the Latin translation is not authorised but it's taken from the um, Latin versions of the Liturgy in the Book of Common Prayer and um, also a translation of the Liturgy done by a Scottish intellectual in the middle of the last century. Now I have modified it a little bit this time to improve the Latinity um, having read a translation into Latin of the English 1928 Liturgy by Bishop Kirk of Oxford. So there are a few changes, more felicitous phrases in the Latin. Why celebrate the liturgy in Latin today, when for nobody is Latin their first language? Well, it was pretty rare for it to be anyone's first language for many hundreds of years, but it was the international language of scholarship, and it was also, until the 1960s, the international language of worship for the majority of Christians. And today, worshipping in Latin is, is still um, a thing which is popular. Um, we had many, many views of our last um, liturgy and um, a, uh, a scholar in England has been producing um, videos of the Book of Common Prayer, Matins in Latin, and again that's been very popular. So there are people out there who want to worship in this tongue. It puts you in touch with the earlier stages of Christianity and also it enables you to get out of your everyday mindset and engage with the core of Christianity, with the core teachings of the mystery of Christ. And I think that's good. It's always good to try and worship in a different language. Um, it's particularly important for me because for 18 years I was a Benedictine monk worshipping day in, day out in Latin. And at least for the Psalms, it's my primary language. So to pray in Latin is for me an everyday thing. And I hope you'll be able to join me with that, even if your Latin um, isn't that good. And I must say, this is not a um, sort of historical reenactment. It is a service of worship. It is a true Mass, a true Eucharist. And I'm celebrating here as I would in my church normally. Um, and um, there are a few um, bloopers in this service. I'm sure that we will see that as we go through it. Um, I may mispronounce the odd word. I may forget the odd thing. But it's real worship. It's not some sort of historical creation. And then the final thing, one may object to Latin, there's no real grounds for that. One may also object to the cult of King Charles the Martyr, and there's also no grounds for that, or there might be some quite good reasons why you might be a little hesitant about it. For us, here in Edinburgh, he founded our diocese. Well, the other Scottish dioceses go back to the early Middle Ages and beyond, but um, King Charles founded it, and um, his for, for the first bishop, William Forbes, a great scholar, and so we have a great debt of gratitude to him. It's also an Episcopalian devotion as well. It's an Anglican devotion in general, but an Episcopalian one, because the king, for any faults he may have had in his political actions, in his personal life, he was a devout Christian, 
a devout Episcopalian, and had he accepted the deposition of bishops, and the church has been guided and led by bishops since its first days, had he accepted that bishops be abolished, he may well have saved his neck and not been executed. So he died for the divine right of kings, certainly. He refused to accept the authority of the um, cabal of people who um, overthrew him. But he also died for episcopacy, for the ordering of the church by bishops, led by bishops, which, uh, as I said, goes back to the beginning of the church, and we believe to the will of Christ. He also died, as I said, for monarchy. Now, very few of us today would hold that absolute monarchy is a good thing, but many of us believe that a constitutional monarchy is a good thing. In our own great Queen Elizabeth II, we could also look to Spain, where King Juan Carlos uh, was the only person standing between the Spanish state and a military coup, and he went on television, he ordered the plotters to stand down. Monarchy stands above politics, but can also, when necessary, for the common good, intervene in it. Uh, I must say, I thought how good it would have been had the United States had a constitutional monarch when the people attacked the capital, someone where the president went off the wall, who could embody the state in a sacred office, and that's what monarchy is, anointed by God. Now, normally, here in Edinburgh, we would have an annual Eucharist um, commemorating the Royal Martyr, um, organised by the Royal Martyr Church Union, followed by drinks in the chapter house. Um, we can't have that now because of the lockdown. So I'm offering this liturgy here as a substitute, poor substitute for that, but also for general interest. And I would like from this old prayer book to um, end this introduction by reading in English the two of the three collects which we have at the start of the service. The service is the 1970 Scottish liturgy with three collects. The first, the collect from the prayer book for the monarch, for Queen Elizabeth, and the other two collects for, from the service in the prayer book for Charles King and Martyr. And the two readings are from that service as well. So let us pray. O most mighty God, terrible in thy judgments and wonderful in thy doings towards the children of men, who in thy heavy displeasure did suffer the life of our gracious sovereign, King Charles I, to be, as on this day, taken away by the hands of cruel and bloody men. We, thy sinful creatures, here assembled before thee, do, in the behalf of all the people of this land, humbly confess that they were the crying sins of this nation, which brought down this heavy judgment upon us. But, O gracious God, when thou makest in inquisition for blood, lay not the guilt of this innocent blood the shedding whereof nothing but the blood of thy Son can expiate, lay it not to the charge of the people of this land, nor let it ever be required of us or our posterity. Be merciful, O Lord, be merciful unto thy people, whom thou hast redeemed, and be not angry with us for ever, but pardon us for thy mercy's sake, through the merits of thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed Lord, in whose sight the death of thy saints is precious, we magnify thy name for thine abundant grace bestowed upon our martyred sovereign, by which he was enabled so cheerfully to follow the steps of his blessed Master and Saviour in a constant meek suffering of all barbarous indignities, and at last resisting unto blood, and even then, according to the same pattern, praying for his murderers. Let his memory, O Lord, be ever blessed among us, that we may follow the example of his courage and constancy, his meekness and patience, and his great charity, and grant that this our land 
may be freed from the vengeance of his rightful blood, and his mercy, glory, and thy mercy glorified in the forgiveness of our sins, and all for Jesus Christ his sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Whatever we may think of the political actions of the martyred sovereign Charles I, let us at least admire his constancy and his virtue into stepping forward for his beliefs, for his conscience, and holding fast to his conscience, even unto death. Nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Introibo ad altare Dei, ad Deum creditificat juventutem meam, adjutorium nostrum in nomine Domini, qui fecit celum et terram. Confitemo, Deo Omnipotenti, Patri, Filio et Spiritui Sancto, quia peccavimus cogitatione verbo et opere, nostra maxima culpa. Idio precimo Deum miserere nostri, miseriantur nostri omnipotens Deus et imitat pet nobis omnia peccata nostra, et liberet nos a malo, confirmet et roberet nos in omni bono, et perducat nos ad vitam eternam. Amen. Absolutionem et remissionem omnium peccatorum vestrorum, Spatium vere penitentiae et emendationis vitae, gratiam et consolationem sancti spiritus, tribuat vobis omnipotens et misericors dominus. Amen. Deus tu conversus vivificabis nos, et plebs tua letabitur in te. Ostende nobis domine misericordiam tuam, et salutare tuam da nobis. Domine exaudi orationem meam, et clamo meus ad te veniat. Dominus vobiscum, et cum spiritu tuo, oremus. Omnipotens Deus, cui omni corpatet, et cui omnes affectus animorum coniti sunt, et quem nihil latet. Purifica cogitationes codium nostrorum, Ut per inspirationem sancti spiritus, te ex animo amemus, et debita venerationi celebramus nomen tuum sanctum, per Jesum Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Alpha nobis quesumus domine iniquitates nostras, ut ad sancta sanctorum puris meriamo mentibus introire, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax omnibus bone voluntatis. Laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te. Gratias agimus tibi propter maniam gloriam tuam. Domine Deus rex celestis, Deus pater omnipotens. Et tibi Deus fidi unigenite, Jesu Christe. Et tibi spiritus sancte Deus. Domine fidi unigenite, Jesu Christe. Domine Deus agnus Dei, filius patris. Qui tolis peccata mundi miserere nobis. Qui tolis peccata mundi miserere nobis. Qui tolis peccata mundi suscipe deprecationem nostrum. Qui sedes ad exteram patris miserere nobis. Quoniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus Jesu Christe, cum sanctus spiritu in gloria Dei patris. Amen. Dominus vobiscum et cum spiritu tu, oremus.
omnipotens Deus, cuius regnum est eternum et potentia infinita, miserere universae ecclesiae, et sic dirige cor electae famulae tuae Elisabetae reginae, et gubernatricis nostrae, ut coniuscat se esse ministrum tuum, et ante omnia querat gloriam et honorem tuum, et ut nos omnesque eus subditi, aniocentes, ut decet, eam a te abere imperium, fideliter ei serviamus, eam honoremus, et ipsi humiliter obsequamo, in te et propter te, juxta preceptum et ordinationem tuum, per Jesum Christum Dominum nostrum, qui tecum vivit et regnat, in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia saecula saeculorum. Amen. Potentissime Deus, in exemplis edendis terribilis, et erga genus humanum mirifice, qui incandescens per miseris animam clementissimi principis nostri caroli primi defuncti. Die quasi ilope in provorum manus et sanguinariorum eripi. Nos creature tue onuste vitius corum te congresse, universi uius gentis populi nomine confitemur supplices, eorum peccata fuisi causam, quere gravissimum ilud in nos ederetu judicium. At Deus clementissime, cum sanguinis penam expetis, noli in nos effuse ilius sanguinis innocentis peccatum, quod nihil nisi sanguis fili tui expiari valiat, noli in populum uius regni vindicare. Nec eus sanguinem luamus nos nostrive nati, propitiare domine, propitiare tuis quos redemisti, et nobis socensere noli in perpetuum, sed proclamentia tua pace nobis, per merita fili tui Jesu Christi domini nostri. Amen. Domine laudabilis in cuius oculis tuorum mors piorum in prezio habetur, nomen tuum illustramus, qui principem nostrum defunctum, martyrem tuum, gratia largi perfudisti, per quam acceperit fieres ad vestigia collaudandi magistri et servatoris sui alacriter adio subsequendum, constanter, mitique animo, indinissimas omnes contumelias perpetiens, et tandem ad sanguinem usque resistens, et tum, et siam ilius exemplo prosuis orans interfectoribus, ilius memoria apud nos domine, in perpetuum prosus collodetur, ut de eo fortitudinis constantiae mansuetudinis patientiae sumeque caritatis exemplum capiamus, et concede ut terra heic nostra non luat penas sanguinis ilius innocentis, et clementia tua nostrorum peccatorum remissione gloria illustratur. Is annoe, propter Jesum Christum, unicum advocatum nostrum et mediatorem. Amen. Lexio Epistolae Beati Petri Apostoli Propter quod succinti lungus mentis vestre, sobri, perfecte, sperate in eam, quae offertu vobis gratiam, in revelationem Jesu Christi, quasi fidi obedientiae nos configurati prioribus ignorantiae vestre desideris, sed secundum eum qui vocabit vos, sanctum, et ipsi in omni conservationi sancti sitis, Quoniam scriptum est, sancti eritis, quoniam ego sanctus sum. Et si patrem invocatis eum, qui sine acceptioni personarum judicat, secundum unius cuisque opus, in timore inculatus, vestri tempore conversamini, 
scientes quod non corruptibilibus auro veagento redempti estis de vana vestra conversazione paterne traditionis, sed preziose sanguine quasi ani immaculati Christi et incontaminati, preconiti quidem ante mundi constitutionem, manifestati autem novissimus temporibus propter vos, qui per ipsum fideles estis esset in Deo. Qui suscitavit eo ma mortuis, et dedit ei gloriam, ut fides vestra et spes esset in Deo. Animas vestras castificantes in obedientia caritatis, in fraternitatis amore, simplici ex corde, invicem, diligite, attensius. Hic explicit epistola. Under cor meo ma rabia meo omnipotens Deus, qui rabia visie profete calculo mondasti initro, ita me tua grata miserazione dignare mundare, ut sanctum evangelium tuum digni valiamus nunciare, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Lexio Sancti Evangelii secundum Matteum. <coughs> Aliam parabolam audite. Homo erat pata familias, qui plantavit vinia, et sepem circum dedite, et fodit ideam tocula, et edificavit turim, et locavit eam agricolis, et pereg peregre profectus est. Cum autem tempus fructum a propinquaset, misit servos suos ad agriculas, ut a ciperent fructus eus, et agricule apprehensis servis eus, alium ceciderunt, alium ociderunt, alium vero lapida verunt. Item misit alios servos plures prioribus, et fecerunt ili similiter, Novissime alta misit ad eos filium suum, dicens, veribuntur filium meo. Agriculi autum videntes filium dixerunt intrase, hic est eres, venite ocidamus eum, et abebimus ereditatem eus. Aet apprehensum eum, eiecerunt extra viniam, et ociderunt. Cum? Ergo venerit Dominus vine, quid faciet agriculis ilis? Aeunt idi, malus male perdet, et viniam suum locavit alis agriculis, qui red ante fructum temporibus suis. Gratias tibi Domine propter istud gloriosum evangelium tuum, Per Evangelia dicta deliantur nostra delicta. Oremus pro universo statu ecclesiae Christi. Omnipotens sempiterni Deus qui sanct per sanctum apostolum tuum nos docuisti facere intercessiones et gratiarum actiones pro omnibus hominibus. Suplices te rogamus ut clementer as preces nostras exaudias quas offerimus divini maestate tue, supplicantes ut veritatis, unitatis, et concordie spiritum catholice ecclesiae tue perpetuo inspires, et presta ut omnes qui sanctum nomen tuum confidentur, in sancti verbi tui veritati consensiant, et in unitate et pia caritate concordes vivant. Te rogamus audi nos bone Deus. In super te rogamus ut omnes reges, principes et gubernatores, salvos facias et defendas, et precipue famulam tuam Elisabetam reginam, nostrum, et omnes subea prefectos, ut pie et tranquire gubernemo. Te rogamus audi nos bone Domine. Da gratiarum pater celestis, omnibus episcopis presbyteris diaconis, et precipue famulo tuo Ioanni episcopo nostro, ut tam vita quam doctrina sua, 
verum vivumque verbum tuum annunciant, et sancta tua sacramenta recte et rite ministrant. Te rogamus audinos bone domini. Et universo populo tribue gratiam tuam celestem, et precipue hui congregationi presenti, ut audienta tecipian sanctum tu verbum tuum, et tibi fideliter serviant in sanctitate et justitia, omnibus diebus vitae sue. Te rogamus audinos bone domini. Supplices etiam te rogamus domini, ut pro bonitate tua eos omnes consoleris et adjuves, qui in hac temporali vita tribulatione mestitia inopia morbo alis rebus adversis laborant. Te rogamus audinos bone domine. Commendamus protectione tue clementissime domine, omnes servos tuos in fide et temore tuo defunctos. Obsecrantes, ut dones eis lucem perpetuam eternam pacem. Te rogamus audinos bone domine. Et laudem suam e toto e corte gratias tibi offerimus, propter gratiam miram virtutemque, in omnibus sanctis tuis prebita. Qui vasa electa furi gratiae tui et luminaria mundi in varis ipsorum seculis. Et precipue in Beata Maria Virgine, Matre Fidi tui, Jesu Christi Domini et Dei Nostri. Et in tuis sanctis patriarchis, prophetis, apostolis, martyribus, quorum exempla et constantium in fide tua, et in sanctis mandatis tuis servandis, tu nobis Domine quesimus supplices sequi concedes. Hoc pater, lagiri dinieris propter Jesum Christum unicum nostrum, mediatorum atque advocatum. Amen. Benedictus est omne Deus universi, quae de tua lagitatia cempimus panem, quem tibi offerimus, fructum teri et opris manum omnium, ex quo nobis fiat panis vitae. Per huius acque et vino mysterium eos efficiamo, Domine, Consortes, qui monetatis nostri fier et dignatus est particeps. Benedictus est Domine Deus universi, quia de tua lagitatia cecumus vinum contebi offerimus, fructum vitae et opris manum omnium, ex quo nobis fiat potus spiritualis. Benedictus seus et secum. Spiritu militatis et in animo contritus suscipiamo a te Domine et sic fiat sacrificium nostrum in conspectu tu odio. Facia tibi domine Deus. Lavino domine obliquitate mea et obliquitatis meus vita. Dominus fobiscum et cum spiritu tu. Sursum corda, venus in popolo. Gratia sagamus domino Deo nostrum, dignum et iuscum est. Vere dignum et justum est, ecum et salutari, debitumque nostrum officium nos tibi semper et ubique gratias agere, Domini Sancte, Pater Omnipotens, Eterni Deus. Et idio cum angelis et archangelis, cumque omni militia celestis exercitus, gloriosum nomen tuum laudamus et magnificamus, et imnum gloriae tui canimus, sine fine dicentes. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaot, Pleni sunt ceni et terra gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. 
Omnis gloria gratiarum actiones tibi omnipotens Deus pater nostra ceristis, qui opere miserationi tue pietatis unicum filium tuum Jesum Christum dedisti, ut mortem in cruce pro nostra redemptione pateretur, qui unica sui ipsius oblationi semel facta, plenum facit perfectum et sufficient sacrificium oblationem et satisfactionem pro totius mundi peccatis, et instituit et in sancto evangelio suo nobis precipit, observare preciose mortis silius memoriam, usque dum redire perpetuam. Qui in nocte tradibatur acepit panem, et gratias agens fregit, dedit quae discipuli suis dicens, acipite et manducate, hoc est eni corpus meum, quod provobis datur, hoc facite in meam commemoratione. Simili modo postquam genatum est acipiens calicem item tibi gratias agens dedit ilis dicens, bibite ex eu omnes, hic est enim calix meus novi testamenti, qui provobis et promotis et funditur in remissionem peccatorum, hoc facite quotsias cumque bibetis in meam commemorationem. Und yet who miles Domini Pater Celestis nos family tui secundum institutionem delecti fili tui salvatoris nostri Jesu Christi, hic coram divine maestate tua, de is tui sanctis donis at datis, quae nunc offerimus, tibi, celebramus et observamus ilam quam observare filius tuus nobis precipit memoriam. Memores eustam beate passionis et preciosi mortis, nec non et merabilis ab inferis resurrectionis, sed et in celos gloriosi ascensionis, tibi gratia sagentes ex animo, procta beneficia innumerabilia nobis indecolata, et expectantes ipsum cum potentia et mania gloria rediturum. Et nos family tui in digni supplices te rogamos, Pater omnium misericordiarum, nos exaudias, et spiritum sanctum tua mitas super nos, et super hec tua munera et creaturas pani et vini, ut benedicta et sanctificata vivicanti ipsius presentia corpus et sanguis fiat Delectissimi fili tui, et omnis ea acipiens sanctificatus fiat, et corpore et anima atque in vitam eterna custodiatu. Suplice setiam te rogamus, ut de tua paterna bonitate propitius a nobis hec acepta habias, sacrificium laudis et gratiarum actionem, uminime supplicantes, Ut tam propter merita mortemque fili tui Jesu Christi, quam per fidem in sanguine epsius, nos una cum universa ecclesia tua, peccatorum nostrorum remissionem et cetera passionis eus beneficia consequamu. Offerimus tibi simul et humilime exibemus nos met ipsos anima et corpora nostra, Ostiam tibi rationabilem sanctam et viventem. Suplices te rogantes, ut nos quot quot ex hac sacra communione participemo, corpus preciosissimum, et sanguinem fili tui Jesu Christi, digni acipiamus, et omne benedictione tua, celesti et gratia recreamu. Et unum fiamus corpus cum eo, et ipse in nobis habitet, et nos in ipso, et quam vis propter multitudinem peccatorum non simus, 
dini qui ulum tibi offeram us sacrificium, hanc tam in debitam oblationem servitutis nostri, non estimato meriti sed venie, quesumus lagitu acipias. Per Jesum Christum, Dominum nostrum, per quem, et cum quo, in unitate Spiritus Sancti, sit tibi patria omnipotenti, omnis honor et gloria, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Sicut preceptis Salvatoris nostri Christi admoniti, audemus dicere. Pater noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malum quia tuum est regnum potentia et gloria, in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Pax Domini sit semper vobiscum, et cum spiritu tuum. Carissimi, didigamus in vicem quoniam caritas ex Deo est. Mixtio et consecratio corporis et sanguinis Domini nostri, Jesu Christi, fiat accipientibus nobis in vita eternum. Amen. Non justitiae nostre misericus Domine, sed multitudinis maniaro miserationum tuarum fiducia, ad hanc mensam tuam sanctam accedere audemus, neque enim sumus digni et colligamus micas de mensa tuam, sed tues idem Dominus, Cuius semper proprium fuit miserere. Concede igitur misericus Domine, ut si cedamus canem delecti fili tui Iesu Christi, et bibamus eos sanguinem, ut corpora nostra inquinata pe corpus eos sacerimum mundentur, et anima nostra spre preziosissimum eos sanguinem laventur, et nos perpetuo habitemus in eo, et ipse in nobis. Agnus Dei, <coughs> qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pacem. Ecce agnus Dei, ecce qui tolit peccata mundi, beati qui acenum a anni vocati sunt. Domine non sinvinius et interes sub tectum meo, se tantum vic verbo et sanabitur anima mea. Corpus Domini nostri Jesu Christi, qui propagato ex custodia, Corpus et animum meo in vita eterna. Or in Sutsim Stormy, a poor of empty Capianus, such a lunar temporary, the Atmobis Remedium Sempiternum.
Confitemini Domino quoniam bonus, quoniam in eterno misericordia eus. Domine Deus noster salvato mundi, per quem eic sacra misteria celebravimus, suscipe umilem gratiarum actionem nostrum, et de mania misericordia tua semper nos sanctificare dignare corpore et anima, qui vivis et regnas cum patre et sanctus spiritu, Unus Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Pax Dei, qui ex superat omnem sensum, custodiat corda vestra et intelligentias vestras, in scientia temore Dei, et fidi eus Iesu Christi Domini nostri, et benedictio Dei omnipotentis, Patris, Fili et Spiritus Sancti, sit super vos, et maniat semper vobiscum. Amen. Ite in pace. Deo gratias. Amen.